We're in the Louvre in Paris looking at a large Pieta that we think is by Edgar Corton. Right, this is attributed to that artist, and that's because it resembles in style a handful of paintings that survived by him. He was an artist who worked in Provence in the south of France. And what art historians have tried to do in this case is try to build an identity for an artist based on any records that exist. And in this artist's case, we do have some contracts that exist, although not for this painting. And then we try to look at a painting stylistically and link it to others. And once you have a couple of paintings that are firmly established, that makes it easier stylistically to link them. This is a pieta, a subject that is very popular, especially in German Renaissance art. Stylistically, it's linked to the artists of the Northern Renaissance. We might think about Van Eyck or Campin. Look at the clarity, this precision, and the attention to the anatomy of the body. It is attenuated. It still has one foot in the medieval tradition, but the way in which the bottom of Christ's rib cage protrudes, the way in which the knees are so carefully rendered, the feet are so carefully rendered. This is an artist that is studying the body. And it reminds me of Roger van der Weyden, the artist of the Northern Renaissance, and the way the figures are very close to us. Some art historians have described this as restrained emotionally. There is emotional depth. Mary Magdalene, she's crying. We see her holding a jar that she anointed.